2020 Super Aeronautique G23 Paragon. This is a consignment boat. It's actually the first Paragon we got here at N3 Boat Works. And we've got it for sale again. Um, it's a beautiful boat. Sitting in a tungsten gray hull bottom. Mystic white main. And then on the back here, we have anthracite metal flake on the rear stripe. Also has a tungsten gray interior deck. Uh, up top, we have the Roswell telescoping um, flight control tower. This is in both tungsten and mystic white. Sits on a triple axle boatmate trailer. It's got 18 inch wheels. It's got a spare up front. Got the big boy ladder with the handrails to lead you on into the interior. But just a really nice package. Um, walking around, the boat's been meticulously well taken care of. It's in great condition. It's got about 91 hours on it right now. Uh, it's got that XR7 motor, so the 6.2 liter supercharged engine. Um, coming around the back here. Nautique Surf System does have the um, Nautique Enhanced Lighting Package, or not the Lighting Package, goodness, the Stern Thruster uh, Steer Assist. Does have the Lighting Package though, and I meant the underwater lights. It's not part of the Enhanced Courtesy Lighting Package, but it does have underwater lights. Does have the Enhanced Courtesy Lighting Package on the interior. Up top, or I guess above me now, is the ladder, surf pipe, all the goodies back there. Walking around, it does have black Chromax, so your side vents here for the wake sub are in black as well as your Paragon um, logos on the side, which we'll walk up and see here in just a second. But gel coat looks amazing. The Paragons have the upholstery on the gunnel here between the tower and the windshield. And that is in mystic white and that looks really nice. Kind of breaks up this line between the interior deck and um, the top deck and just looks really good. I love that. Has window tent on the windshield. I also really like how, little detail stuff, but how that interior deck rolls right up into that trim on the trailing edge of the windshield as well. There's our black Chromax for the Paragon logos. Upper and lower docking lights on the Paragon. This is that first year for the new G Series haul as well. Um, and as we all know now, it's an amazing surf boat, rides super, super soft and comfy, and is an incredible wakeboard boat. Up top on that tower, is the standard bimini top. It's got surf pockets on it, but you can see on the underside, it's a full framed bimini. Um, reminiscent of the Z5 cargo rack days somewhat, but you get more headroom with this because it's mounted to the top of this tower. Um, also, you can see the little light like right there that shines the Nautique logo on the floor, my dirty floor, um, which you can't quite see right now because it's too bright in here. But at nighttime, that looks really cool. Uh, let's hop inside, check out the interior of the Paragon. Um, ugh, get my shoes off here. There we go. So yacht inspired transom on this. So you've got the seats in each corner and nice, low, easy steps up into the interior, all sea deck. Um, we have the grab handle to pull yourself up when you're using the ladder. If we flip open the cooler here, we've got um, a drop-in cooler here. Or not a drop-in cooler, but a built-in cooler right here. And then your toe point, like right there. But as you walk up into the inside of the boat, huge step pads on both sides of the sun pad. And uh, those are really nice when you're hopping on the boat at the dock or whatever it may be, climbing back here to throw your wakeboard or your surfboard in the water. Um, you're not stepping on vinyl. So it goes a long way for the longevity of the boat. Down here we have the vents for your wake sub. So there's a 12 inch subwoofer here 
in here in each corner of the boat as well as two more up front to finish out the stereo on this boat which is insane um, we have stereo to remote back here as well and last but not least favorite party trick of the paragon there we go are the rear lounge seats the massive rear lounge seats so people complaining about not having a padded sun pad to hang out on well here you go you got these awesome huge seats that are really comfy you've got an adjustable headrest on there as well love those so when those fold down it just swings down like so you can also access your storage from here so just click right there in the slam latch and boom you can load your boards life jackets we've got the table in here right now um, but you can store whatever you want on either side of the engine boom there you go so easy access storage from the back of the boat which is really really nice stepping on through into the interior we do have a little nick in the sea deck right there um as you can see Gray flooring, which we've already seen back here in the transom, but the charcoal gray sea deck interior color scheme. We have haze gray as our main. We have anthracite piping, the darker piping right there. And our seat boxing is in Mojave Brown. Um, it's a nice classy interior. We do have gold chromax. So you have that here up here in the dash and on the driver's seat. And then on our side inlays, we've got some of that as well. But a nice interior, it's always gonna look good. It's easy to keep clean. It's not gonna get too hot in the sun, which is super important. Nice wraparound seating. These seats here, I already had them flipped up, but those both fold flat if you want them to. And then your back center seat, similar to the G, folds up into kind of a couch. Difference from the G is that this boat has a couple different positions for that seat and then it locks so if you push onto it it won't release until you hit the latch right here we'll fold this back up where it belongs storage wise communicating storage into the back here all seat deck lined same thing on this side Let's take a look in our side inlays. We have a phone holder over here. There's that nice, beautiful gold Chromax. Lighted cup holders with the enhanced courtesy lighting package. And then new speaker grills came out with this with this boat. Um, just a nice sharp look that goes, if you look really closely, it kind of has that same pattern to it as the Chromax. So that's cool. Um, to go back to the stereo, four subs, you have six interior speakers that are kind of in the combing pads. We've got the wavefront speakers up front, which is duh. <laughs> you can't even really see it from there. Right there they are, through the windshield. And then up top in these enclosures are the 8.8 uh, .8 tower speakers. So there's two on each side. So you have four total across the top. So just a wild sound system. It's super loud, um, but most importantly, it's super clear has a ton of bass and you can tune and do whatever you want with it um, to make it sound how you like but um, looking through the interior just a lot of cool little details all the stitching everywhere we did do the Mojave stitching on there which pops really nicely over the gray you get that up on your speakers even and again wrapped around all throughout the boat everything's super nice um, great ergonomics on the boat so if you're sitting here for example Put a nice bolster here so you're not sliding out. And then you've got these side wings or bolsters to kind of hold you in place. Um, let's open up the club box. Just have some storage and head units down there. Uh, you got charging ports, heated seat toggle for the love seats. That's heated as well as the driver's seat. And everything's nicely wrapped in vinyl, which looks really nice. Um, heading over, actually, before I do that, Underneath here is where you have all your amps. So there's four to power the stereo system. You got your trash can. One of the batteries, one of the three batteries is parked down below. Actually, there's two batteries down there. Two batteries down there. 
And while I'm at it, when I'm talking about batteries, your third is right there with all your other goodies, pump, ballast pumps and bilge pumps and whatnot. We do have another drop-in cooler, cool detail, same Chromax and C-Deck that you find throughout the rest of the boat. Driver's seat, perfect shape. This thing's freshly detailed. Um, but looking across the dash, left side of the Paragon um, is basically just going to be all your vitals. So if I click this on again, you got engine temp, oil pressure, voltage, fuel gauge. Um, you have your speed control and your ballast monitoring there. That pretty much stays stationary and just feeds you that info. So you don't have to cycle through a sub menu to find it. Um, our home screen is going to have all of our preset adjustments. So if you want to change wave shape for, while you're surfing, for example, you can click on and off all your different lighting options. You've got your stereo. You've got manual ballast fill and drain here. Again, you can power on all your heat and lighting accessories from here. We've got lake maps, GoPro connectivity, and just some settings to play with, but I won't go too deep into that. But a dual screen setup on the dash. Um, you can control it through the helm command over here as well without touch if you'd like to do that instead. This does have the um, upgraded leather wrap steering wheel on it. And then Looking down, you've got a storage kind of shelf down here. And there's a wireless charging pad for your phone. And then your driver's seat is a power seat. So it slides forwards and backwards with these buttons here. While we're talking about power, you have a power folding telescoping tower. So you can bring this thing up and down like so. I won't go all the way. Go back up. Let's peek in the engine hatch real fast. So while things going up, you're gonna see over here, this boat does also have fender pros. While I'm at the helm, it does have all the heater options. It's got the air dam, the pocket door air dam up front and the heated drivers and love seat, which I mentioned before. All right, here is our XR7. 91 hours, freshly serviced, 550 horsepower, supercharged motor, um, takes premium fuel, um, but a lot of power. Uh, this is paired with a 1717 prop. It rips. So I'll fold that back down real fast. Up top, got the mirror, oversized mirror, and this windshield on the inner side has the gold Chromax too. I think that's a really cool touch to go along with the rest of the trim. One thing I did notice on this boat, we do have a little scrape right there in our upholstery, just below the windshield. Walking up to the front, trash can right there. And then up in the bow, nice comfy seating, whether you're facing backwards or forwards. Got these huge armrests over here with cup holders. And then this all opens up into storage where we've got the full tower down cover and all the fenders to go along with the Fender Pro system. But everything in good shape. Oh, got a little leaf in there. Throw that out. Um, but really, really a pretty boat. You do have armrests too. So those pop up like so. All right, I think I've covered everything on the Paragon. Things in great shape, just a couple little cosmetic things that are pretty minor. Um, nothing major for a 90 hour boat. So um, things fully loaded. If you have more questions or wanna check out other videos, we'll have an on water video of it, um, but our full listings at n3boatworks.com. If you have any questions, you can call or text us at 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.